Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another Army Fire tutorial. And today I'd like to talk about the curve view. Alright, so what, what is curve view? Let's drop, up, let's drop down a line. Video first, a line. So curve view is one of the most useful, I would say, attributes for controlling splines or lines. So in this line, we're just going to get more points and we're going to do a reset. So you can, you can obviously create a curve view using a wrangle or you can do it like this, which is, I think, easier. So off the bat here, you don't have it, but middle click here and you have a curve view attribute. What the hell is the curve view actually doing? Um, so let's visualize it. So let's stop drawing color. Sometimes when I have no idea what the hell is this attribute doing, I recommend dropping down the color and doing ramp from attribute and you can select the curve view. And here you can see that it's making, it, it is turning this black and this white. Um, okay, so what, what does that mean? What that means is, let's sketch it out. It is grabbing the point here and to here and it is calculating um, the value from a zero to a one. What that means is that we, we can now say this is fully black and fully black being um, you know a value of zero and then this is gonna be like increasing gradually this would be a 0.5 and it goes all the way up to like to one actually this would be 0.5 actually yeah <laughs> sorry guys zero goes all the way up to 0.5 and all the way up to one so it's just a gradual uh calculation of zero to one um and then what are some ways that we can use this to control stuff so one way that I do uh, a lot is drop down a pop and then on the pop we want to find the import our curve view so now that we have imported the curve view we want to control it we want to control this value here so I want to control it using a ram and then I'm going to do a bind export of an attribute and I want to call this attribute width so now what's happening is let's uh, let's actually change this to be a splice graph so now this value here is controlling the width of the curve however we cannot see that unless we drop down something like a polywire and on the poly wire, we want to extrude this based on the width. So on the wire radius, we're going to do dollar width, and it has to be cut block, and it has to be just like this. And, and then here, we now have control over the width. If this doesn't do the trick for you, like for example, like if you wanted to reduce the intensity here, you could always come here and do a move. Multiply constant. And then right like that, like be a little easier to control. But see, see the kind of cool stuff that you can do with a curve view. Um, other examples of stuff that you can do with a curve view is for one, maybe black and white, and you can see that I have tutorials on isolating based on color, like so you can do a group expression. say at cd the r is less than 0.1 and then that's gonna 
start to group based on the color. As you can see, these points are being grouped. And uh, you can do so many things with that, like you can delete them or you can do affect them based on the mount, mountains up. That's only affecting that group specifically. So see, it's only affecting that group. You can use that to drive velocities or you can do that. You can use an attribute bob to control the noise of it a little better. So maybe we do a multiply, we do an add, and we do a turbulence. We are gonna grab the position and then add some noise to the position. We're gonna make that a 3D noise. And we can see that now we have noise added to the whole thing. Um, but now, what if we were to do a multiply here and multiply this based on the color? You will see that right now our curve view is controlling because of the color and then you could do stuff like offset it based on the time and then you can even do this here where we use what we had before Or you could, on the stuff that we just did here, say, ah, okay, so this result right here is giving me the turbulence, and that is being controlled based on this color, and I want to bind X for this color information on my width. And then that color information would be driving the width here. So instead of multiplying it inside, we can do it out here. And that color information is multiplying the width. All right, guys, I hope that this quick tips on the curve view have given you some ideas of what you can do with this kind of control. Um, give me a like if you like it and I uh, will be back with more.